How's it going, meatheads? Look, the bike is back. Better than ever, too. So, in case you guys haven't watched the previous, like, update video, I'll give this quick. The bike was in for, to the shop. It got an SNS 475 chain drive cam installed, as well as an SNS cam plate and pump installed, and it was tuned on the dyno. Um, final numbers on this bike was 106 horsepower and 119 foot-pounds of torque. I'm not going to dull you guys with any sort of more talk because apparently on the last exhaust video I did, I talked too much. So let's just get her started. Burns a little oil on startup, but it's also like 45 degrees out. This cam, once the motor is warmed up, sounds amazing. And that is worth the price of the cam in its own right. Ah, uh, here it is. You can start hearing it. Chop a little bit more. Let's get her going. <laughs> the the pergle down from acceleration into D cell is just far more aggressive with this cam in it as well. It makes me laugh like a schoolgirl. Like it, it just it 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 did everything I wanted it to with the install. Makes way more power everywhere. And like listen to that. But overall, it's still very rideable. Like, I think that's one thing that's really nice about just doing a stage two aftermarket cam or even an, uh, a Screaming Eagle cam is that you get much more power. You just, it's still rideable. Like, it's not like um, what some people describe like the 131s, and the 124s, 128s. Like when you do that sort of build, it's like on off. Like it's a light switch. Like it's always either all power or no power and if you don't build it right with the right cams and all that like it just becomes such a uh, unrideable beast but this is still very rideable so far from what I've gathered it's just a lot faster Oh, that was a lot faster up to 80 than it's ever been. <laughs> um, overall, the sound is just more aggressive. Like, even with this exhaust, it's just, it's that much more ballsy. Like, it, the startup is just more, ah, like big old cojones. And yeah, I will admit that I'm probably losing like four or five horsepower by not having a two into one, but... I, I'll take this sound with this cam over having more five or four or more horsepower, you know, like that's something that you really won't feel on your ass cheeks. It's going to be something that you're going to see on a dyno, whereas like that audible sound of that cam chopping with this exhaust automatically just wins the day. All right. That's 
It's definitely a fast up to 100. Power doesn't feel like it's shifted in the power band much at all either. You just have a lot more up top as well, so it doesn't feel like it tapers off up there near the upper RPMs like it does with the stock cam. So it just kind of feels like it's it has way more to go. Like it, you get up there in the RPMs and then it's it still keeps going. It's like that's what I wanted. Like it, it sucks when you like are revving out the bike and it's it feels like you're just kind of like eh, like approaching the summit but it takes five years instead of like this is like strapping yourself onto a rocket and it just wants to haul haul you all the way to the moon ah oh, so nice i recommend this cam even in a 107 like you're gonna hear people say a lot of different things about what cam to go with but i mean i'm sold like just for the chop at idle and for the uh the overall balance of power i like I, i'm i'm sold i'm not gonna trade up to a different cam or trade out to a different cam like this is awesome this bike just it it's a completely different animal like i don't know why i think if anybody if anything what you need to do as a uh M8 owner is go through the steps, stage one, stage two, and then see if you want to go any further because like, I guarantee I won't be wanting a 124 put in this bike for a while, for quite a while. Like, this is just amazing. I'm really, really blown away by this. Yeah, this tune is so good too compared to the, uh, the Vance and Hines fuel pack tune. <laughs> there we go. Big old chop, chop, chop. Sounds like a big old potato, potato to me. Take it easy. And it's got to clear its lungs a little bit, you know, <clears throat> warm her up a little bit. I don't know. I'm gonna, there's going to be some more videos, hopefully, about like what to expect for like your miles per gallon and all that after a a stage two. You know, there's not a lot of talk about like those those things on YouTube, like with miles per gallon, like you know rideability and all that like right now I, this feels like it's just like my other road or like my road glide was before it's just it's tuned up a little bit it's it's a little bit more uh it's just cranked up to 11 a little bit or like cranked up from like five to seven or eight you know it's it's just better and I recommend you guys check out some aftermarket cams if, if you're out of your warranty now, you know, on your 2019s and your 2018s, you know, I would look at an aftermarket cam because there's not a bad one out there. You just got to find one that suits your riding style and, or like what you're going for as far as like sound goes and all that. And I found mine, that's for sure. Still at like 25 sub 2500 rpms it's it's chill it's not like on and off oh well actually never mind if i if i touch that throttle it's definitely on off on off on off but i didn't have to change out any of the drivetrain components like for the clutch or anything which is nice so realistically i think that stage two aftermarket cams are just like the best bang for your buck because you don't have to you know shell out a bunch of cash to upgrade your clutch work or anything or like your compensator or even your transmission you know 
and my runout was like three thousandths with 23,000 miles on this motor. For you guys out there with a lot of miles on your M8s and you haven't done anything with the cam chest or whatnot, I wouldn't worry too much about your runout. So far guys, my first impressions of the SNS 475 cam is two giant thumbs up. If I had a third thumb, I'd I'd hold it up, but like this is just awesome. I, I'm just so happy that I finally did it and guys I think I'm gonna call this uh, first impression video a wrap I hope you all enjoyed listening to this and uh, hearing some advice from somebody who's now done a cam install or cam upgrade on a Harley M8 I think that this is just an amazing cam <laughs> When you kick on the throttle, it just rah, rah, so angry. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> that guy just gave me the deuce. <laughs> he gave me the old rock on, bro. Oh well, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, if you're not already subscribed already. I hope to see you in another video, and I hope to see. Well, just hope to see you soon. Peace out, guys.